Alright guys, today we are going to make an OP cleric in Dark Souls 1. So, first thing you need to do is make a cleric and summon yourself into the Undead Asylum, progressing through the area and doing a plunge attack at the very end so you can kill the first training boss. And obviously it goes without saying that you're going to be picking up drops and killing enemies along the way, but once you get to Firelink Shrine, make sure you upgrade your vitality a little bit. Then make sure you go around and pick up all the drops in the area as well as in the graveyard. Once you're done with all that stuff, what you want to do is head down from the Firelink Shrine bonfire into the elevator that will take you to New Londo. Obviously you want to get any kind of drops that are down there and um, what you want to do is go across the bridge and navigate around the ghosts so that you can get yourself the first firekeeper soul if you die down there it's not a big deal if you can make it out alive fantastic either way you're going to take that firekeeper soul and you're going to give it to the firekeeper near firelink shrine and then she's going to upgrade your estus flask Next, what you're going to do is actually go back down. You're going to go back down a few times. You're going to go back down this time. You're going to go to the right so you can go up the little staircase. And with the master key, you're actually going to open up the door, giving you access to the Valley of the Drakes, as well as Blight Town. And in this particular travel, you're going to go into Blight Town and then down a litany of ladders so that you can gain access to a small little walkway that is like a tree limb and stuff and just be real careful because you can easily fall off you probably won't be able to make it back due to the geometry of the game so what you're gonna end up doing once you get across you'll try to evade around the enemy right there and just grab the drop and grab the chest and you get yourself some really good armor uh, another catalyst and a sorcery spell if you're into that after you've either died or homeward boned out of there you want to go back down into new Londo in the valley of the drakes and this time hang a left across the bridge and mind yourself around the undead dragon you don't want to wake it up you can grab the soul of the proud knight and then head on through the narrow passage evading around all the dragons along the way then on the right hand side you can get into a small passage that has an elevator that will actually bring you up to the deep root basin and here you can get the best shield in the game arguably in the grass crest shield as well as a chance to kill the black knight that has the black knight halberd one of the absolute best weapons in the game proceed up the deep root basin and make sure you drop down in the area that provides you the leather set and the longbow but then continue back going up so you can kill the crystal lizard but continue on upward so that you can gain access to the next area of the game the deep root garden for which you're just gonna pass by on the left so that you can actually get your way into the undead parish now be careful for the titanite demon but you're gonna go up the stairs past Andre to light the bonfire and then proceed all the way up the stairs you'll have to go across the little bridge and then to the left up the stairs and across another bridge to the right down some stairs and then on the left hand side there's a massive staircase that has the basement key grab that and retrace your steps back now you want to enter in that first staircase giving you access to the chapel area and aggro the large knight and kill it now you can go back in and grab the second firekeeper soul as well as gain a very nice shortcut to fire link shrine um, and make sure you rank up your Firekeeper Soul with the Firekeeper as well. 
at this point you probably have a lot of souls that you can use so you'll want to use the tips that I have on the screen right now whatever you do though make sure that you do two things don't level past 20 and also get your wisdom to 15 these are pretty well almost non-negotiables so just keep that in mind once you're ready to roll what you want to do is pick yourself up head back down using the elevator to new londo you get across the little bridge to the left greet the undead dragon grabbing the dragon crest shield and the astora straight sword and then head on to the right back again past the dragons up the elevator to the deep root basin and this time you want to rest at the bonfire this is very important go back down and then you're gonna go back into the valley of the drakes so that you can evade these things and grab the brigand set as well as get yourself up this ladder right here and then grab the red tearstone ring use a homeward bone to get out of there and then head up out of the deep root basin and this time you want to go across the deep root basin so that you can not only gain uh, that little soul drop right up ahead but also get access to the undead berg from the bottom and you're gonna go backwards through the undead berg up the staircase as fast as you can to avoid Havel in the door now if you've run fast enough you can actually evade Havel and he won't continue to chase you otherwise you might have to fight the boss up ahead which you'll see in a second Either way, you'll want to get the Crystal Lizard, and then if you can, you want to make your way back down so you can go to the Upper Undead Berg. And while you have to kill some of the enemies in the area surrounding that tower, uh, once you're done cleaning up all these enemies, including the one all the way at the top, uh, shooting with a crossbow, you can actually go back down, and there's a little area that has a Black Knight, which you can uh, aggro back up to a larger area and then you can take him out this gives you the option to get the black knight sword which is also a really good weapon before fighting the boss make sure you grab the blue tearstone ring and then head all the way back up that tower so that you can enter into the boss fog you want to fight the boss as normal which means you will first kill the archers up top and then drop back down uh, aggro the boss go back up the ladder and then once you're up top you can actually do a plunge attack and pretty much knock him down to about half health especially if you're using that Astora straight sword and um, kill him once defeated you can continue along the path down the stairs and on the right hand side there is an open area that has the well-known NPC Solaire talk to him and get from him the white sign soapstone which is super important for this run and then open up the door to the lower berg because you got the basement key already slide down the ladder and then just all you want to do is unlock the shortcut you have to go up the stairs on the right and then just head on back down from there if you really need to you can free the sorcerer but this is a cleric build anyhow make your way across the dragon bridge which there's no dragon Kick the shortcut to the lower end at Berg, and then make your way back up that dragon bridge with no dragon, and then get the drops. Claymore, everyone. What's really important to do next is to pull the lever releasing the gate. This will give you access from both sides of the Undead Parish. You can light the bonfire, and then you can kill a third Black Knight. This one is the one that has the Black Knight Greatsword which is also a fantastic weapon so lure him into an open area and then you can take him out from here you're gonna actually go back down the shortcut and our goal here is to go backwards through the undead berg which is really 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 fun to do if you have never done it before um, then also make sure you talk to the merchant and you'll want to grab a couple things from him including the uh, resident key the bottomless box and the hand axe, the reinforced club, short bow, and some wooden arrows. And by the way, the wooden arrows are super cheap in this game. From here, you want to progress in that lower area, killing the enemies, going up the ladder, 
and then jumping across the void so that you can gain access to that light crossbow there's a bunch of other drops in the area grab all that stuff and then enter through the fog that will actually gain access to the dragon once the dragon is there then you want to go up to the dragon bridge and then now the dragon is actually going to start lighting things up now that he's there you can use that newly purchased short bow and as long as you have at least a 12 dexterity you can hit the first tail right there and then when he relocates his tail is going to come back and you can hit it again do this a number of times and eventually you're going to do enough damage to the tail and then it'll actually give you the drake sword get yourself to the undead parish and then above the shortcut to the firelink shrine there's a balder knight and you'll want to kill him so that you can put your white sign soapstone in this little hallway which is probably one of the first areas that you'll be able to really attract some attention so that you can um, get summoned in to fight the gargoyle boss there's a bunch of enemies over here so make sure you kill all those and that includes the channeler um, which you only have to kill the channeler once and uh, he'll never respawn there's also another balder knight you want to lure him to an open area kill him and then bust through that broken door and then with the master key you can unlock the jail cell freeing the gold knight you may decide to relocate your summon sign somewhere closer to the boss fog. Eventually, you'll get summoned in. What you need to do is get summoned in twice and then beat the boss twice. And what that'll do is give you an easier way to gain access to the Warriors of Sunlight or Sunlight Bro Covenant. As long as you don't level up too much past 20, you should gain access to a large pool of players who are willing to not only challenge the Gargo boss, but also summon you in. And being that you have a 15 faith, you only need to be summoned in twice to lower the requirements of entering the Warrior Sunlight Covenant to 15 faith. Once you've done that, go to this area of the Undead Parish. Make sure you kill this hollow because otherwise he'll shut the gate. He'll pull that lever and shut the gate. And then evade the metal bull by just running past him. And if you go into that little archway, the metal bull won't progress through it. But these hollows will. So make sure you're not getting followed. Once you're good to go, you can now gain the Praise the Sun gesture and enter the Covenant, giving you access to the lightning spear miracle which is actually a really good spell from there you want to actually go back to the area you was at in order to get summoned and now you actually have a yellow sunlight bro uh sigil and now every time you get summoned in and you guys are able to kill the boss you'll get awarded a sunlight medal and you'll pretty much want to do this until you gain at least nine sunlight medals which means um, you might be holding on to quite a few souls so don't rank up until you gain at least nine the reason why you need nine is because you'll get one more from the gold knight if you go to firelink shrine and you talk to him he'll give you one as a gift for releasing him from that jail cell now that you have 10, you can go back to the altar, and this time you can offer the Sunlight Medals, all 10, and that will rank up your Covenant to the next rank, which gives you the most awesome spell of Great Lightning Spear, which happens to be a boss killer. And that, in tandem with the Lightning Spear Miracle, you have two super awesome spells. You can cast them at least 10 times each, and it is definitely going to carry you through the game you can use other weapons and stuff but pretty much this is the strongest attack that you're going to have and the last thing that i got to say before i wrap this video up is that the astora straight sword is a really good weapon that only requires a 10 dexterity and the drake sword doesn't actually require any extra strength because as a cleric you got a 12 strength so you can two hand this to use it either way i wouldn't level up either of them but instead i would make a choice of using either the hand axe reinforced club falchion pretty much any light weapon so you can keep your weight low 
Also, I recommend leveling up your faith to 50 and then your dexterity so that you can cast spells faster, but you can go with a strength build just the same. If you want to see the full length video for this, then you can click on the annotation on the screen. But with that being said, I've got to say thank you to Wolf Kid for supplying some music and thank you. Stay cool and bye everyone.